everybody welcome back to the channel so stock market rally continues into this video we're going to talk about some stocks that y'all should be keeping in your watch list once again um what i told y'all in the last video was pretty much one day too early but the market is like it's, it's right on time right now so we're going to talk about that i'm also going to be answering some of you guys' questions for those of y'all who dropped the stocks of interest like we always do here on this channel now before we begin do not forget to annihilate the like button on your way in here and also don't forget to subscribe if you are new to the channel all right so let's let's begin right off the bat um today was a choppy day yes it was bullish which is great all right uh, money was made today um the reason why it broke out at the time that it broke out um despite the drawing that i showed you on sunday night i think yeah so this drone is still there. I haven't touched anything on there. I told y'all 4200. 4200 is like right around the corner. It's almost picture perfect. Um, I think it's going to get there tomorrow. I think despite the fact that we're currently down by negative 0.20% on the SPY. And the NASDAQ is also down by negative 0.34%. Um, I think things are going to turn around in the morning. We're either going to stay flat and then we're gonna like start moving higher all right but this move right there this huge move um if you look on the one hour the same pattern is present with the with, with apple if you look on the maybe the 15 minute actually let me go on the 15. yeah it's more visible here there was a bullish rectangle on the chart the bullish rectangle is on here. It's quite clean, right? So it breaks out overnight. And then in the middle of the day, it does a retest right here. And then there was the Powell speech, which happened at one o'clock, which formed another retest right here. And then buyer stepped in heavy. And we had a very, very strong close. Again, the structure was there all along. And it pretty much justifies what I told you all on Sunday night. We're going to 4,200. Um, so that's my that's my honest thoughts on the overall market. Now, the stock that y'all should be keeping in your watch list for tomorrow, the first one at least. The first one is uh, NVIDIA. All right. Now, NVIDIA had some pretty solid days. Um, the day before, it showed a bullish pattern, which... It looked really, really clean. Um, some people in the Discord took the bait on this one. It looked really clean. It paid off in the end, but it was a bit worrisome in the after hours right here, right? So it breaks out right here. Some people buy calls, and then we still hold our Apple calls, of course. And then everything gaps up in the morning, all right? And then today, today, um, we, see, we can see there is another pattern on there the bullish pennant it's much much bigger it looked different before this um chop happened right there it looked slightly different but it ended up looking like that which is kind of nice i think that it's going to run once again so this is this is the five minute all right now if you're if you look at another perspective for those of you maybe beginners let's look at the four hour all right, we're gonna zoom in right here in this zone, right there. All right, so if you look on the four hour, you can see that there is an inverted head and shoulders on there. We got the left shoulder right here. We got the head and then we got the right shoulder. Now, ideally we would like the right shoulder to be, we would like the right shoulder to be just as low as the left shoulder that would make it really really clean and really nice and remove all doubts but it's not always perfect so if you look at all of these like what we've seen with nvidia it's something that looks like that where that right shoulder is not as low as the left shoulder all right it's not really it's not that perfect but it is there and it cannot be ignored um another one there was another one that looked just like the video earlier um this one even again this is for beginners if you don't know what a inverted head and shoulders is you can just you can just look it up on google inverted head and shoulders multiple examples of it 
and I think that the video is going to follow through. Therefore, watch the video for it already broke the neckline right here. All right, and the next up is the next step is exactly 190, maybe slightly higher before we experience some type of turbulence in the market. All right, watch out for that. So that's the first stock. Now, the next stock that y'all should be keeping in your watch list, this one, the pattern may be there or it may not be there. All right, but it is on a dip. It is dipping and it looks like it wants to rebound. And it is Tesla. All right, and the pattern that I see on Tesla is right over here. If you look on here, all right, so this is a bullish triangle on Tesla forming at the bottom, and it broke out right at the close, right above 760, right? So I think. I think tomorrow, if things turned out well, if if things like if the video runs and then the market runs and everything's great, then I think that it's gonna go straight up and break through eight hundred dollars and get to eight hundred and twenty before we see some type of pullback with Tesla. All right, so it's there. The pattern is here. All right, and it literally just broke through it. And tomorrow it's probably gonna open up at around the same price or slightly higher if we turn positive overnight. All right, so these are the two stocks that y'all should be keeping in your watches. And as I've mentioned earlier, the pattern with the SPY and Apple, we had Apple calls and this is the bullish rectangle that I wanted to show y'all. It is on there, it was quite clean, right? Um, we held calls, it popped. Um, took some profits and then it just consolidated it sideways and now it's, re it's, it's looking ready to go up to 153 as I told y'all in that first video on Sunday. Um, the other stock that I should do a follow up on, I believe it was Square, all right? Now, <laughs> you know, the funny thing is that the title of the video, the rally is like incoming rally, right? And then... <laughs> And then right after I released that video, nothing happens. It just stays flat. I don't, it's, it's frustrating because I'm like one day too early, right? But in the end, in the end, as long as people make money, that's, that's really all that matters. But if you look on, if you look on Square, it's still there. Like the, the, the examples that I showed you on Google were like perfect examples where things just go straight up, like right here, right? So I showed y'all, what is it? I showed y'all this one, where we were right here with Square. And then what's supposed to happen next is that we jump up to like right there. Y'all see where the mouse is. And then it just goes straight up. Um, it doesn't always go straight up all the time. If you look on the right side right here, it can go sideways a little bit. It can, it can kind of stall like right here also where it stalls a bit. It takes a sweet time, creates some type of doubt, right? And then the people who are patient and also cautious get to reap the benefits of purely holding. I think that it's still good. Um, it didn't get to, and by the way, I, I meant $92 in that last video. I watched it again and apparently I said $82, which <laughs> ironically turned out right because it hit $82 the next day. But again, target for Square is 92 not not 82 I think it's going to keep going up. So that's that's my uh, honest thoughts and the uh, follow up on Square. Somebody put in the comment section. This is a question. Um, somebody asked me to talk about Eggy. Now I don't see anything special about. Well, actually no. This is not. This this is looking like it's looking really strong. The uptrend is there. It is cheap, and it does have an option chain, which is why I'm covering it in this video. Again, I don't like talking about penny stocks. I don't trade penny stocks. Um, but this one is having a nice uptrend. Could it go higher? I don't know. I don't know. Um, I, yeah, I really, I really have no idea. If you're a long-term investor and you know more about the company than I do, 
then take advantage of this trend. How long is the trend going to last? Watch out for eventually if this breaks, if this level breaks, it's going straight back down to $4. When is it going to break? I don't know. All right. Um, another perspective is if it retests that level right there at seven dollars like it goes straight up and then during the next month we go straight down right we can see the um head and shoulders which is the opposite of what i showed y'all here on google right this is bullish all right and then what i drew over here this is bearish for those of y'all who may be beginners this is just um, for y'all um so this could happen with the stock but we'll see we'll see what happens next so that's my honest thoughts on all of these stocks and that is the end of the video again do not forget to annihilate the like button for the youtube algorithm as always it helps the channel a lot and allows more people to get this knowledge as well also if you are new to the channel and you haven't done so already definitely click on subscribe and click on the notification bell along with all notifications that way you don't miss out on these videos if you would like to be part of a private discord community you can find that as the first link in the description of the video below if you haven't added me on social media yet you can find me at paul Nguma and a pedagogy lab on instagram and on twitter and lastly if all of this is brand new to you if you're interested in getting started in the stock market Left some very basic step-by-step -step directions in the description of the video below step one to step three. You can also get some free stocks after setting up Webull using the third link in the description of the video below. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Paul Nguma with Paranology Lab, where we trade patterns and patterns only. And I will see all of you in the next video.